Hi, I'm Eric with Narrow Road Van Conversions, and I thought I'd do a quick follow-up to the video that we posted on the van walkthrough. One of the things you couldn't see in the original video was the finished flooring runs into this storage compartment under the seat. Also it runs way back in, up underneath, lots of storage. And the finished flooring back in the garage area. We also didn't get a chance to show you the remote fill, which is easily accessible on the passenger side. And that goes down and fills the propane tank up under here. It sits in behind the axle. If there's any obstructions uh, coming down the road that the axle will hit it first. The shore power outlet on the passenger side also. I also get a lot of questions about the shower and the toilet seat and the shower is made out of a half inch thick um, PVC sheet. It's made by Royal and it is able to be moldable and bendable and I actually routed the edges on the toilet here so everything in here is handmade. The toilet seat has a separate urine diverting toilet in the front. The urine and the water in the shower all heads down the same pipe with a P-trap in there too to the gray water tank. In the back you can uh, put a bucket if you decide to use the back part of the toilet with a bag, you can see a stainless steel bracket back in there. They're 500 pound stainless steel brackets. In here we also have a lighted switch that's waterproof for turning the light on and off. I also get a lot of questions and comments about DC fridges versus AC fridges. And just wanted to quickly touch on that. This is a dorm fridge that you can easily get at a lot of vendors. I did a lot of research on it and what I was thinking is that since you can easily find it somewhere you could go get it and replace it if it did break down. It's pretty easy to take in and take out. About the power consumption, I pulled out the drawer below the refrigerator. You can see the heater and some insulation behind there so I can reach the outlet to it. So what I'll do is I'll show you with the lights on right now, I'm drawing exactly one amp of uh, power from the batteries. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to turn on the inverter. So the inverter is going to fire up. But you can see that just the inverter by itself is drawing 3.58 amps. So that's how much just the inverter running draws. So I've got a pretty heavy duty water heater in here that draws a lot of power. So I kind of up my power rating on this vehicle. So that's why I decided to go with an AC fridge versus a DC fridge. DC fridges do draw less power. However, they're much more expensive. And I could not find one with a freezer. I was kind of hung up. I know uh, people get hung up on certain things, but I got hung up on the freezer. Um, it's a good size freezer. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. I'd say a full frozen pizza you could fit in there. I looked up a comparative Dometic fridge that has a really small freezer. Um, probably a quarter or an eighth the size of the one in there. And it said it drew 1.1 amps when it's running. We'll see how much this one draws. So again, 3.5 amps the inverter is drawing because my lights are drawing one amp. So I'm gonna go plug the refrigerator in. So now the refrigerator is running. So we look over and now we're at 10.2 amps or 9.5 amps. So, so we're looking at about five amps to four and a half to five amps that this refrigerator draws. So in the grand scheme with my 400 amp hours of batteries, I felt like that was negligible. And of course it's not gonna be running the whole time. 
uh, once it gets cooled down it doesn't run constantly so that's how much the dorm fridge draws how much my inverter draws and why I chose to not spend a whole bunch of money on a DC fridge thanks for joining us for the update to the video if you're interested in having a van custom built for you with a DC fridge or AC fridge or any other option for that matter contact me at the email below and I'd be happy to get an estimate out to you and there'll be more videos on the way I'm gonna do a walkthrough on how to put the step in to a Ram ProMaster I'm gonna do a walkthrough on how to winterize plumbing on this van and more to follow Thanks again for joining us. Make sure you subscribe and click the like button and we'll see you next time.